In this video, we're going to talk about real estate property tax. So this is a tax that's based on the assessed value of land and buildings that you own. And so assessed value is, this is a very important notion uh, because the value that is assessed by the tax assessor is not necessarily the fair market value. Now we'd like to think maybe you have a different value in mind of what your home is or something you might have a debate over that, but it's the assessed value. There's a tax assessor, maybe every five, 10 years they come out and assess your property, depends on the locale. In any event, they come up with an assessment of the land and buildings that you own, right? So we're not just talking about the property itself, but everything that's on it. And buildings are sometimes referred to as improvements. And so before we get too deep into this, I should mention too that with real estate property tax, we're not talking about any kind of special uh, assessment. When we say like, so like for, for example, let's say there's a sewer assessment of $100 for people who live in your area or something like that. We're actually talking about uh, the, the assessed value of your land and the buildings on it that's going to result in the property tax. Now, this tax, I'm going to get into the specifics in a minute, but l let me just say first, this is very important, this is not a federal or a state tax. So this is a local tax, and what we mean by local, we're talking about uh, county or city governments, right? County or city governments would impose this tax, right? So the funds that you're going to be paying for this property tax are going to go, they're going to stay local in that sense. And, and, and here's what I mean by that. So when you pay your property tax, it could fund a variety of things, but there are some things that are pretty common. For example, the local public school district, right? That's something that very commonly is funded by the local property taxes that you pay in your area. Now that just an interesting little note here. So because well, so if we think about how property tax is calculated, right? So we've got this assessed value, right? So before we get into what the property tax rate is or an example, just think higher assessed value is going to lead to higher tax, higher property taxes, right? So basically uh, areas that are, you know, wealthy people, uh, lots of, you know, really nice expensive homes, they're going to generate more property tax. And if we're funding the school district, right with the real estate property taxes in that region then that means that wealthier areas are going to be generating more property tax for the school district and thus they'll be able to have better schools right they'll be able to pay more for more qualified teachers they'll be able to do improvements to the school and so forth so it can actually have have an effect you know the way that we fund school districts this real estate property tax is very crucial in determining what schools get funds in addition to that, though, also uh, we're going to uh, fund things like the police department, the fire department can be funded by the real estate property tax, and also the local government, right? When we're talking about, you know, the city, the county, their courthouse, and so forth. Those things, uh, you need to turn the lights on there, right? You need to be able to pay the bills, and that can come from, from real estate property tax, right? So it's a really big local source of revenue, right? Now, I'm just going to walk through a quick example. Now, obviously... The, the rate that you pay uh, is going to be different based on where you live, right? So in, in one county, uh, the property tax might be different than, than another county, right? So some places they say they got really high property taxes there and so forth. So let's just assume that you have a home. And, and again, I, and I should probably, this bears mentioning again, this is for a home that you own, right? If you're renting property, generally don't have to worry about property taxes because it's the owner of the home, owner of the land that is subject to to the property tax in any event so let's say it's your home you own a home and the assessed value of that home is seventy thousand dollars right and the tax rate the property tax rate in your region is 1.5 percent so it's pretty simple now that we have these numbers we just say okay we just take the seventy thousand assessed value and multiply it by the property tax rate okay um, and that's going to give us, what are we going to get? $1,050. $1,050 tax due, right? That's going to be our, and it's, it's usually it's on an annual basis. So at the end of the year, we, we would owe $1,050 to the county or to the city for property taxes. Now, here's another important point. So people typically think, well, hey, I get, I get a loan for a home. I get this mortgage. 
and it's so let's just draw a little picture here so so you get this home and and the mortgage is paid right so you paid off mortgage that means you paid off the loan that you took out from the bank to buy the home and so now you think hey I own the home free and clear right paid off mortgage so you own home and you've, you've probably heard that multiple times free and clear so there's no debt associated with the home right but here's an important thing to remember that even once you've paid off your mortgage and, and so forth you still are subject to property taxes every year right so this thousand fifty you still owe that every year even though you tend you, you own your home you don't have any debt associated with it that doesn't absolve you from your responsibilities of paying your property tax and if you can't pay that you can actually have your home taken away right the county the village they can seize your home right for unpaid property taxes so this is very very important um, and another thing to think about is that okay so over time typically real estate tends to appreciate in value right not always right we've had crashes and so forth but generally real estate goes up in value it appreciates right so assuming that it appreciates and you have a person an elderly person who they've paid off their mortgage they own their home they bought it 30 years ago and let's say that the value has gone up over time so as the assessed value increases here if you increase that even if you hold the rate constant the tax due is going to increase right now you might say well hey you know the home's value went up so they have to pay more tax what's the big deal well if you have an elderly citizen who is on a fixed income right so someone on a fixed income and by fixed income I mean they're no longer in the workforce right they're getting Social Security payments or retirement or whatever they're living on a fixed income it's not going to increase they can't go get a second job or something like that right because they're no longer working so they have that fixed income and then now you say hey you know what we've reassessed We've reassessed your home and actually your property taxes is going to be higher right let's say it's now five thousand dollars or something like that because the home's value has gone up now this person says hey wait I'm on a fixed income I can't pay that I can't pay that so maybe now they have to sell their home so they might they might have to sell their home and move into a smaller home in a different area or something but maybe they lived in that home for 30 years right and they kind of thought hey I own this home I've lived here it's my family home and now I can't afford uh, to to make these these property tax payments. So it's just something to think about to understand that that your assessed value uh, can and, and probably will change over time, and then that's going to change the amount of tax that's due, and that might can change whether you can even afford to stay in a home that that you may own, right? And you've paid off, but you still are subject to property tax.